Okay, Judith Ann Desjardins back in the pulmonary lab at UCLA. We just did the simulation where I'm in this space capsule. Kind of weird, but kind of neat. So you're going to imitate what we did about closing the door? Can we? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to close the door now. And you will start with regular breathing first. And I'm going to shut the air for the next breath. And you will do a small gentle pant. Follow my rhythm. Closing it now. In, out. One, two. Gentle. One, two. Two, big breath in all the way up and let it out. Keep blowing out, don't stop, squeeze all the air out. Push, push, push. And a big breath in deeper, deeper. And you can take it off and rest. And you can hit the button to open the door. So I actually have a little button to push, which is neat. Now, can you explain what the purpose of that last test was? So the last test, we will measure patient total lung capacity. We will measure all the volume from the upper to the lower airway. And the second test that we did? We measure gas exchange in the patient lungs, how oxygen is transferred across the AC membrane in the patient lungs. What is the AC membrane? Um, that's okay. Okay, the AC membrane, the exchange of oxygen and uh, CO2? Yes. And these kind of tests are very important for Alveolar capillary membrane. Alveolar capillary membrane. I was just playing for a moment. Yes. So it's very important for cancer patients on chemotherapy to get this kind of test ideally before they start chemo. And after. And after to see if the chemotherapy has destroyed any of the any cells, lung tissue. lung tissue. So fortunately to me, I got this, this set of tests only because my CT scan, which I requested, showed pulmonary emboli in the lower lobes of my lungs. And then I said, I want to go to a pulmonary specialist and the specialist is the one who ordered all of these um, important tests. Um, had I not done that, we would have not known what shape my lungs were in after chemotherapy. So if your oncologist does not order these, these would be a good test for you to request prior to starting chemotherapy and to have one after as a comparison, is that right? You would have the test before chemo and after yes. to check for tissue damage. So, so glad you could join me today. I love making these educational videos for all the ca cancer patients and their families around the world. Educate yourself, go to the best centers that specialize in your particular type of cancer and always be assertive on your own behalf. Do research, ask questions, and make requests on your own behalf. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you.